Rescue 1122 team from the government of Pakistan and Pakistan Army reached Turkey to help the earthquake victims. It was reported by the Pakistan Rest team that three trapped victims were rescued alive from a multi-store building in Adyaman region of Turkey 82 hours after the earthquake. Turkish children, girls and a 50-year-old woman were rescued by the successful operation of Pakistan Rescue 1122. It was reported by the socialist media of the Arab countries that out 1,100 people were killed in the destruction of the 7.7 magnitude earthquake in the Turkish cities. Hundreds of people were injured in residential buildings in the Turkish city of Malatya and in the eastern, northern and southern regions of Ghazi and Tip near the Syrian border. The rescue relief work for the earthquake victims is ongoing on behalf of the Turkish government. Former President of Pakistan Asif Ali Zardari and Pakistan People's Party Chairman and Foreign Minister Bila Wal Bhutto Zardari, and other political parties expressed their grief over the earthquake in Turkey. The Prime Minister of Pakistan, Shabazz Sharif expressed his grief and sorrow over the damage caused by the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and prayed for the forgiveness of the dead and the speedy recovery of the injured.